Hello Gemini, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be a general energy vibe check for love. Uh, please uh, bear in mind that these are general readings, so uh, not everything will resonate 100%. There might be specific keywords or phrases throughout the reading that are meant for you, boo-boo. Also check your other placements for a complete picture of your situation in love. Uh, also, Gemini, um, I am asking you today specifically if you vibe with the video, if you get any value from the video, and if you want to support me and uh, push the video out for other Geminis uh, to hear this message, don't forget to like the video and comment below. Uh, every like really helps me. Uh, I want to get 100 likes today, Pipu. okay? This is the mission. So if you vibe with the video, if you vibe with the energy, you can do that one thing for me. Uh, also, Gemini, um, this is for Gemini Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus, or if you have a lot of Gemini in your chart. Let's get into your reading now. Uh, we're going to start with uh, a message from uh, your guides. Uh, we're uh, doing this video a couple of days after the full moon, but the full moon energy is still upon us, and uh, I'm feeling that energy very strongly, so uh, I'm just kind of uh, honing this in for you. Grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. What a beautiful message. Grace and gratitude, boo-boo. This is about manifesting too. Uh, this is about manifesting. This is about being in, uh, in sync uh, with the rhythm uh, of the moon, the sun, the stars. This is about allowing things to grow. Look at her. She has this beautiful, magical dust in her hand. She is manifesting beautiful things with love and gratitude. Uh, this is about being gentle. This is about uh, winning things uh, through being sweet, you know, attracting those flies with honey, boo-boo. Whatever you're doing, you know, if you're manifesting things, if you're, uh, especially if you're coming into your feminine power, regardless of your gender, it doesn't matter. But if you're, you know, kind of feeling that uh, uh, yin energy in you specifically, that is something to hone in on for sure. Uh, look at this beautiful pink tree here as well. We just had the pink moon. I do feel like this is all about that moon goddess energy. There is goddess in this card, boo boo. So uh, take it as it resonates. Uh, I'm just going to do your spread now. Uh, in terms of love, I feel like, um, I don't know if you're attracting love or manifesting, so you're manifesting something, boo boo, aren't you, Gemini? Uh, babe, I love you, I'm Scorpio. Uh, Geminis and Scorpios were very much misunderstood by the others in the Zodiac. People just do not get us. Scorpio is like you, you know, we have we understand the duality of the light and the dark. Scorpio is extremes though, you know? We're like the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Oh, interesting. Wow, okay. You moved on from something in the past. You got the chariot here. This is the energy that uh, led you to your current situation in love, Bibu. You moved on from something. It was quite a quite a hard energy here, quite aggressive. Uh, maybe you were trying to, I don't want to force something because Gemini doesn't have to force anything, Bibu. But I feel like you were kind of trying to force maybe yourself uh, to make a situation work. You, you were... Uh, working against yourself a little bit here. There's definitely Gemini energy in the chariot too. Yeah, look, uh, the Queen of Cups, love. This is definitely to do with love. I feel like you were in a, something in the past was either a connection, could have been a stable connection, could have been a bimbo himbo from Tinder, anyone in between. There's someone in your life who just wasn't giving you the kind of love that you deserve. And you tried to make it work regardless, you know? This person is harnessing these two powers, these two uh, horses, the light and the dark, boo-boo. Uh, these two dualities trying to make something work that just wasn't working because someone was leaving you in the lurch. Someone was leaving you having to fill your own cup of love. Uh, leaving you alone. You had so much love to give and uh, this person just did not accept the love. Um, and uh, you either, you moved away or your person distanced your, uh, themselves from the situation, left you in the lurch, whatever the situation was. Uh, Gemini, you know, this was not a good situation. It was quite exhausting for you because you have such beautiful love to give. And I feel like there are people out there who are more deserving of this love that you have. The hanged man is in your current position. You do feel like you've had time or needed time. You feel like you needed to take the time to take a pause in your love life. I don't feel like you've been dating recently. You might be just kind of starting to date again. I feel like you've been taking a break uh, 
I feel like whatever connection was in the past that was so like push and pull, these two dualities, could, you could have been dating someone who was very different to you. Uh, but in any case, it was very exhausting. Uh, maybe you were also dealing with someone who was quite violent, uh, in which case definitely don't reconnect with that kind of energy. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just seeing a lot of brutality. Maybe you were dealing with someone who was quite cold hearted too, quite brutal, uh, didn't have a lot of compassion. Um, so it felt like a bit of a punishment Maybe you're asking yourself, you know, why is my dating life so difficult? Why can't I find the right person? Why are the people that I connect to, you know, maybe they're Maybe you have a tendency to attract quite prudish people or quite insensitive people. Uh, grace and gratitude. You have a lot of grace to you. Uh, a lot of this beautiful goddess energy around you. A lot of uh, mystical uh, energy. A lot of, you attract a lot of people. And I feel like because you have this beautiful uh, I almost want to say dainty energy to you and graceful energy, you might attract a lot of kind of cold-hearted, brutish people because you attract your opposite bibu. Uh, but the gratitude here is like, you know, grace and gratitude. So gratitude is underlined. This is something that I also relate to, uh, babe. Um, you know, we uh, be grateful, even though you have attracted these maybe brutal beast type people in the past, um, doesn't have to be physically, it can be metaphorical, but uh, you know, be still grateful for the fact that you are the beautiful uh, creature, the beautiful mystical uh, phenomenon that you are, because I feel like you attract a lot of people and you're very attractive. You're just like, you're, you're very attractive to people, boo boo. Uh, so yeah, so you're just like, you hung your own self up on the shelf thinking, oh, I don't know, I, I, need, I need to like rethink this whole love thing, um, boo -boo. but you've got the two of wands here now uh, for what's crossing you. So you're ready, you're ready to put yourself out there again. You're ready to go on another journey in love. Uh, I feel like some of you have taken some counsel in the recent past or it might be something you're doing currently. Some of you, you're either getting spiritual advice from a spiritual uh, counselor or you're getting advice from friends or family, someone who is considered wise in your circle, or you're just getting some kind of, you know, therapy. I'm a big proponent of therapy. My other background is in psychology. I think therapy is the best and I think everyone should have therapy. It doesn't matter if you have a problem or not. Like everyone, we all have a problem because we're all alive and life is hard. So um, if that's what you're doing, good for you. You might also be connecting, you know, just connecting more to yourself and your own needs, your own unconscious boo-boo. Uh, I feel like your wishes are about to come true though. Look, the star, this is coming in in the near future. Uh, your wishes and love are about to come true boo-boo. What are you wishing for? What are you manifesting? Look at these, oh my gosh, so beautiful. The card we started with and this star card, it's like they're both holding this beautiful dust, you know? Uh, they're both surrounded by miraculous things things these two figures here i feel like there is great hope for you and love you're about to unlock something in your life that you're not expecting some kind of beautiful uh surprise in love too your dreams are about to come true healing is about to begin as well things are really going to improve and you got the tower here as what you're not expecting boo boo you're about to fall in love and you're about to fall deep and hard. And whoever there was in the past who, uh, you know, made you feel not so good, this brutal energy in your past, this is going to be like, you're going to, you're going to fall so hard. This is obviously a metaphor, but I feel like the tower is coming up to say, whoever you're about to meet is going to be the person that you want. This is your soulmate and you're going to fall so hard for, for this new person. It's like, you're going to hit your head and forget about the past completely. Whoever this is that was bothering you in the past is just going to get canceled. They're going to get deleted from your memory completely. You've got the 10 of cups at the bottom of the deck, Bibu. Great happiness coming towards you. It is a soulmate. Let me clarify and see what kind of person you might be expecting for some of you. Uh, bear in mind it's a general reading, so, you know, take these messages as they resonate. Um, Gemini. I don't know why I wanted to call you Cancer. Maybe it is a Cancer person. Yeah, it's look, it's someone someone who is very much in touch with their feelings, the King of Cups. Maybe that's why I said Cancer, because the King of Cups is Cancer, in my readings anyway. Uh, the King of Cups is Cancer. Uh, the, oh my God. <sighs> 
if it's not a cancer, it's someone who is very much in touch with their emotions, very vulnerable. See, it's not someone like this chariot person who was brutish, who made you feel like you were struggling, uh, who could have been an angry person. This is someone who's very loving, has a lot of love to give. And look, it's the divine counterpart to the Queen of Cups that we started with. That was you in your previous connection. You had so much love to give, no one to receive. Well, guess who's here? The one who also has so much love to give and also knows how to receive it, boo boo. Divine counterparts, soulmates, 100%. And just like you, this person has um, had experiences in the past where uh, they've been through pain. They understand pain. They've been through stuff, you know? Uh, this person has done the spiritual journey, the journey of the emotions. Um, maybe also someone who uh, has had some kind of a spiritual awakening or... Uh, understands that you know uh, they need uh, some kind of guidance or uh, counseling in terms of their spiritual path or it's just like you know their life. Um, someone who's very in touch with things and also someone who has stickability. So this isn't someone who will abandon you when times get tough. This is someone who will journey on this boat with you uh, through thick and thin. This is a family moving on to a better place. Uh, this is the card of immigration. This is when times are tough. Um, and the boat is sinking, you, you plug that boat with a bunch of swords in a time of need and you do it together. So, you know, this is a family moving forward together. This is not someone uh, who is by themselves and abandons a family when the times are tough. Let me just clarify the outcome for you here. Uh, I will say though, Gemini, I see a little warning here for you. Don't overanalyze things. I see, because we have a, a tendency to do this. Scorpio does it with their heart and uh, you do it with your mind, although Scorpio is quite intellectual too. You overanalyze stuff. You, have, you might have trust issues that um, you got uh, from your other connection. Don't, don't give in to that. Take charge of your trust issues. You've got the Eight of Swords here. Uh, be careful uh, that you don't doubt uh, whatever is coming in that's new. There's a beautiful new connection coming in. Don't doubt it too much uh, and put yourself out there. Um, there's a possibility you might not meet this new person and that will happen if you don't put yourself out there. If you remain in this prison of the mind, if you give in to your demons, allow the, the light to, to shine on you. Put yourself out there into the light, into the public, you know. Um, Post on Instagram, put yourself on the bumbles, however it is that it, it is possible to meet people, put yourself out there because that is how you will meet this person who will make your dreams come true, the star, someone who will see you as a star too. You got the emperor here clarifying this. This is taking charge of your love life, boo boo. This is believing in success too. The emperor takes what is his. Hers, anyone in between, gender is arbitrary, but you know what I mean. Uh, the emperor takes because the emperor knows that um, what belongs to him will not pass him by, but he needs to make the effort. He needs to make, take the action. So uh, if you're tempted to not put yourself out there this season is probably uh, the wrong thing to do. You need to be putting yourself out there, Big Bill. Let's get some advice here from the Greek Oracle for you as well. Ooh. And we get another one. Okay. So it's interesting. It's interesting. I think Scorpio got the same card. Um, you got Epimetheus here. Uh, it's carelessness in this deck. Epimetheus is the brother of Prometheus in Greek mythology. He's the dumb brother because Prometheus is, you know, the the smart demigod who stole uh, light from from the gods. He stole stole fire from the gods, and uh, that's his dumb brother. Okay, <laughs> who got uh, the entire world into a lot of trouble when he allowed his wife Pandora to open a box full of curses. Um, so I feel like this is saying again. Um, very similar to the Scorpio read. Maybe there's some kind of connection with Scorpio for you because there's a lot of water energy here. This is the Scorpio card. You came up in the Scorpio energy. If you have Scorpio in your chart, definitely check out the Scorpio reading, boo boo. Um, but this card is telling me to not be careless with your future and your life and your heart. So don't, <sighs> don't throw love away because you've been hurt in the past. You know, don't reject new people because someone someone from the past gave you trust issues. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Don't be careless with your own life. Uh, there's beauty coming in. There, there's a lot you're going to be grateful for. You're, you're manifesting. You have the power to manifest. 
don't be, you know, don't be silly about it. Accept it. Accept your power to manifest. Um, and again, I, I see almost generational curses here. You got Creusa secrets. Um, there's several myths regarding her, uh, regarding this name uh, in uh, in Greek mythology. But um, I'm just gonna take. I'm going to take the myth of uh, Troy. Uh, she was left behind. Oh, she wasn't left behind, but she was walking behind her husband uh, during the siege of Troy. And by the time he looked behind uh, to make sure she was still with him, she had been killed. Um, she had been killed and all he could see was her ghost. So I feel like this is a metaphor from any ghost from the past. This is, you know, mother, father energy. Uh, are there ghosts from your formative years or maybe, you know, energy, uh, karmic energy around you that um, is affecting your love life right now? This is something to consider. It doesn't mean it, it, it is, but it's just something to consider. And, you know, this is family secret. So are there any ghosts in your life uh, that you should work through psychically speaking, you know, in your own mind, in your own heart uh, it could be uh, you know stuff from the past where people have hurt us in the past and it's still kind of reverberating in our current uh, moment in terms of love let go of those old old hurts I'm not saying forgive and forget if someone was horrible to you I'm not saying let it go I'm actually not a proponent of this kind of thing I'm not I don't think that forgiving is necessary for healing um, don't let it go if you don't want to but be aware of how it's affecting your love life currently and don't let other people's bad behavior and mistreatment of you to uh, allow you to sabotage a good thing right now. Give people a chance. It's a blank slate. Take people at face value. Um, new people at face value. Don't let these people from the past steal who stole uh, your precious time and your emotions like this person who was quite brutal to you in the past don't let that person steal your bliss right now uh, by giving you trust issues or by making you defensive be open be beautiful be grateful and manifest a beautiful new love and all will be well um, don't look back there's just when you look back it's there's only a ghost there boo boo that's all there is um Babe, I hope this resonated for you. Let me know in the comments below uh, if uh, this is your story. I'm always curious to hear your stories too, Bibu. If you would like to get a private reading with me, information about this is in the description box below, Gemini. Um, take care of yourself. I will see you next time and may the angels protect you.